Three trees of the forest. Welcome back. I'm Decidious DJ. We are back with the angriest of trees, Durthu, in our Immortal Empires campaign, the Total War Warhammer 3. So last we left off, we had taken advantage of uh, Grom's weakness and taken Kinel from him. Don't even know how you actually pronounce that name, but so we're now facing a choice of whether to keep going for the kill uh, to wipe out Grom entirely, or whether we go do something else. So, let me see where we're at. I think we were towards the end of a turn. Got to level up for Daith here. We won't be using him much. Let's have a look at where we're at. I think this was at the end of the turn. Let's see, what do we want to build? Okay, that's right. Waiting on the growth uh, surplus so that we can build income buildings. It's going to be another two turns until we get that. So let's leave this be for now. The Oak of Ages is gaining health steadily. And we've got another forest encounter here to resolve. So let's keep that in mind as we go. I don't think we can do anything else. Let's do the end turn and see where that ends up. Okay, looks like the Fey Enchantress has wandered away somewhere else. Okay, we've got yet another forest encounter, which is good. Okay, your action, action success chance gets a boost. Okay. Where has the Fey Enchantress gone? I don't know. Okay, let's take a look around here. Our Heathland's looking fairly good. Um, this one's owned by Orion, which will eventually confederate him, so that's not a problem. This one's... We're not at war with Bretonia, so this is neither... Positively nor negatively influencing our forest health, which is okay. Uh, so we're gaining forest health at a steady rate of, what is that, five a turn. So that's not bad. And as we go and win battles and uh, resolve forest encounters, that number will increase. Which is good. So, actually what I was going to do first is merge these armies. So let's go see, let's get rid of Daith. It's uh, quite a ranged heavy army. I mean, we are wood elves, so it's not entirely out of character. Don't know if I want to be paying this much upkeep though, so I might, what I might do is Uh, get rid of these Glade Guard. That way we're earning a little bit more money per turn. Okay, looks like the Bretonians are laying, or not laying siege, but they hopefully will soon attack this place here. So, I think we just go and resolve more of these forest encounters for now. Let's see what we got. Still waiting. One more turn. And then with the growth building that we build, that'll make the next growth point quicker. Let's see, what do we have for our missions? Okay, it's important. Okay, we need to win battles against greenskins. That's why this was particularly good for us. So, I wonder if we can... Because we're at war with these guys. So if we were to 
Just march right up to their doorstep. If uh, these Bretonians attacked, I don't know whether we would get pulled in or not. We might do, not sure. Uh, but let's, like, wait there for a second and see if it happens, because if we get involved in a battle, even with the AI, then that should count towards our tally. Oh, that's the Fae over there. Okay. Um, otherwise, possibly one of these forest encounters will be greenskins. We'll just have to see. I don't think there's any military buildings I desperately want. I mean, all these would be nice eventually. But we've also got them split up on several provinces. So between these two provinces, we've got... got the groves, got the archers, got the cavalry here. Got the infantry, the flyers. So everything in this uh, military recruitment category is covered. We don't have this. Oh, some spell singers would be really good, actually. Yeah, we should definitely build some once we've got the points for them. Uh, apologies if you can hear like beeping and stuff in the background. Um, I've got construction going on outside my apartment. I do my best to like block it out, but it's not not perfect by any means. Oh, beastmen. We could definitely go kill some of them. I think that'd make Orion like us more. Plus, it's just thematically appropriate for what elves, really. Alright, let's leave that for a turn. If nothing comes out of uh, this here, then we'll just go and either take it ourselves, or just go and do forest encounters for now. Come on. Be nice if they just brought us into that battle. No, nothing. Okay. They retreated. Okay, we could just go attack. Well, let's see what the odds are like. It's a Pyrrhic victory, but we don't lose any units. So I'm inclined to take it. Hmm. Yeah, we don't really care about this settlement. Actually, so let's just raise it. Nice. Ooh, we got the... Azrae Spears Regiment right now. Okay, that's the end of Grom. Good stuff. Okay, so we're replenishing. That's fine because it will take us a little bit of time to get back here and do other stuff. Plus, the extra money is also nice. Let's build. Should have. Hmm. What this? And then I want the grapevines next for sure. Soon this will unlock some more slots, so we can build uh, probably a grapevine in here as well. That'll really boost our income. Mitrioth doesn't like us for some reason. Ah, oh, we trespassed against them. Oh, that makes sense. Ah, oh, and because we got a confederation, so it's going to hurt diplomatic relations with just about everybody. Or at least the other Wood Elves. That's fine. We'll get everybody eventually. Um, right. Skill points. Well, we definitely want to buff up the bows. Can't go wrong with that when you're playing Wood Elves. Got in a fair few points into spells here. Oh, the Planish Troops is good. Let's do that. So we've got a few different options for spells now, so I'm comfortable putting a point into Replenishment. Uh, 
Do we want to get any of these? Not right now. Our income is still fairly low. Okay. Let's end another turn. What's going on over here? Nothing much. We'll wander our way back to Athelorin. And resolve those forest encounters. Hopefully one of them's a green skin one. Oh great, they just played war on me. Awesome. I didn't even do anything to you. Skaven, huh? Ooh, okay. Right, so we've unlocked the Oak of Ages to the next level. Has that model actually changed? I think it has. Yeah, so we now got a mission for the Sisters of Twilight. The uh, Orion, Razor Sack, 10 Settlements. And uh, let's just... Is there supposed to be another one? Ah, Aguilon, but that's us. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Okay, so we can... Which Bretonians are we at war with? These ones. Uh, let me see how many settlements they have, actually. Just two settlements. We could go this way. Um, let's see what they do. I'm not seeing any of their armies right now. I'm gonna do. Let's go the. Oh, this isn't. It's actually quicker to just walk. Than it is to use the uh, the deep roots. It's garrison at Queen at Kinel. I don't know how you say that. Uh, for some extra replenishment. We'll recruit some more once we get within the borders of Athel Lauren. Mm, defenses. Could definitely be worth it. Oh, but first, that's the one we need. And that's the one we need. Excellent. Don't want to upgrade this straight away. It's going to take 14 turns. That is forever. Being able to get extra branch rates and tree kin would be, would be good. Oh, we can also get this. Which isn't like a huge thing, but it's fun to build the, the landmark buildings. Just weighing up what's best for us right now. Alright, so let's go with um, upgrading this. So it'll definitely benefit us in the long run. And we'll leave this slot open for now. Jethu can move a little bit further, but we'll leave him in the settlement for replenishment purposes. Research. I want this now that we're actually getting some grapevines. This one's also going to be useful. So maybe we'll get that one next. Okay, so green skins. And 
uh, Skaven are our current desired enemies. These Bretonians getting in our way is kind of annoying, but we'll deal with it regardless. Okay, let's end a turn. So what I really want to do is get to the point where we can have a second army and then use the world roots to go check out the new the new magical forests. That's what's really interesting to me at the moment. Because all the other um, all the existing magical forests we've already seen. Um, obviously we're gonna we're still gonna go there anyway. Seriously? Okay, all of Bretonia is just teaming up on us now. Great. Ah, oh, far out. It's a full on dwarf stack. Do you take me for a okay, it is only a heatland, so we can't afford to lose it if need be. So, what we're gonna do. So, we're gonna go garrison falls in. Oh, I can't recruit while I'm in this stance. Man, see, look at that. Look at that. That income shot up. Because of the two grapevines that we just constructed. Like, it's just absolutely massive increase. Um, I would like to increase it even further, but we need... Oh, we can't recruit that right now, so actually, let's do that. Although... Yeah, five turns not going to be... We're going to need a full army before then. That's still upgrading. Okay, what do I want of this army? We've got our trees are our front line. We probably want a, one or two more of those. We've got plenty of cav, got plenty of archers, although I'd probably want ideally some more of those as well. Basically more holding power. And then, once we get to top tier archers, get a couple more. Ideally, I like to have about about six or seven archers, like way watchers, in a top level wood elf army for campaign. No idea how that forms a multiplayer, so I don't play multiplayer. So this is only for campaign that I'm talking about. Um, let's actually do this because again, having the extra income will be very beneficial. Because it sounds like we're going to have to field multiple armies here pretty soon anyway. Because we got dwarves coming up on our... Um, what is that? East? Actually, which way is the map? I think that's... Let's look at this here. So that's that's north. Yeah, so that, on our east we got dwarves coming up. And on our west we got Bretonia. So... Yeah... I don't think I'm going to start raising another army just yet. Or maybe I should, because it's going to take forever to recruit. So let's have a look and see what we got available. That one's not bad. Spellweaver is okay, because we don't have to... Uh, you don't have to, if you don't want to, have a, um, a dedicated spellcaster. I'm generally not a fan of that approach just because you then have to divide up your skill points between um, spells and actually buffing up your army. Ooh. Shadows Caster with Talon of Kurnos. That's pretty good. Otherwise, an Ancient Tree Man. Oh, so they're much more expensive, though. Let's go with this. Blessing of the forest. Even if it's a partial army, it can help us reinforce or something. Now, how high tier do we want to go with this? I mean, start with some art. Oh, don't have any money. Well, it's a good thing our income's about to increase. 
All right, that's all we got, I think, for now. This army's replenishing. Let's see what our enemies do. He won't keep us pinned in here forever, that's for sure. So we're probably going to lose that heat land. Oh uh, no, looks like they're still sieging it. Yeah, that's that's fine. I will not disgrace my ancestors. Minus, minus, oh, four is okay. So it's a fairly, fairly basic army for the from the dwarves. Nothing like, nothing together not altogether that frightening. But obviously, dwarven armies are just naturally tough. So we need to uh, sort that out. Let's get some more archers. Alright, what I really want is... Ooh, we can get eagles here. Do I want an eagle? Some flying mobility might not be a bad idea. Otherwise, as far as holding the line goes, we've got Eternal Guard. And not as good as... Yeah, problem. Okay. So totally distracted there. Um, problem with um, with splitting the recruitment buildings up between provinces like I have is that if you can only recruit two units in a province, like we are right now, then it's difficult to do. Like it's difficult to stock up on units. Oh. That just eat up all my funds? Yes, it did. Let's not do that then. And Let's march uh, through over here. Look how quickly we replenished, though. Once we were. Ah, oh, crap. I meant to walk him over, and now we can't recruit again. That's my bad. That's alright. We'll do it next turn. Really, what I think. I think I'll probably just give this to the dwarves for now. Actually, maybe not. We'll see how long they, they take to siege it. Because we're at war with these guys. Who are they? Go away. Aquitaine. Okay. And Baston. So, you know. If we swung out this way, we could go take care of the Barrow Legion at the same time. Because that would fulfill one of our victory conditions. Yeah, we'll see. The woods protect. Okay, well, since Dothu can't recruit anyway, I may as well build this thing. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe. I'm going to have a full playthrough going up. I'm going to go all the way to at least the long victory. Whether I do a domination victory or not uh, will depend on how I'm feeling once we get to the long one. Hello. Not a question package. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, so if you like this, please subscribe. Um, if you want to, like, name a unit or um, you have an idea for something I should do over the course of the campaign, like um, an enemy I should fight or whatever character you want to see, then, um, yeah, just leave a comment and I'll do my best to work that in. Okay, Norska, the Laurelorn, is the Confederation mission. Okay, we have an army marching on us. I'm sure we can take them in a one-on-one -on -one fight. I mean, I don't actually know what they've got in there, but I feel like we'll be okay. Now, if I transfer units over, Dothu is not going to be able to move because that takes away movement range from both lords. Okay, these dwarves are still sieging, which is nice. It's good for us. Question is, okay, it doesn't look like they're pressing in on this side yet. 
enough. Okay, they're because they're at war with the Barrier Legion, so they're probably occupied fighting them. Um. Uh, yeah, let's just go. Where are we? Let's go in here. So hopefully we'll be able to reinforce the settlement if they attack the settlement. Can't recruit. So we'll keep recruiting here. Let's upgrade this. Ah. Five turns to upgrade it though. Yeah, let's just keep building up the uh, the archer stack for now. Yeah, all right. I'm just thinking about what's the optimal way to play, but then I need to remember we don't need to play optimally. This is not a race. This is not a. Um, there's no rush to be done here. Um, you know, we're just taking our time. Like, the forest is patient. You know, we are going to conquer everybody eventually. Or at least reclaim all our forests, right? So, whether we take 100 or 200 turns to do that, doesn't matter. So, yeah, that's good for now. We've positioned ourselves to thwart the enemy advance. This here is pretty inconsequential, so... They seem content to siege, so... We'll let them do that. We'll let them waste their own time. Just gives us more time to ready our forces. And if we can knock off a couple more confederation missions, that'll also just um, vastly increase our available economy. It sailed right past us. Let's upgrade this. It's going to be important. And... Let's see what I want. Definitely some Glade Riders. Okay, I can take him out of March Stance. Out of um, Deep Root Stance. Obviously they're just looking for a free target. Can't reach him on this turn, unfortunately. But what I can do is ambush. Are we prepared to lose this? Yeah, we we're okay to lose Paravon for a turn if need be. Let's see how far we can get. Stick with a hundred percent chance of ambush. Dirt is just gonna like. Spread out his arms and stand still, and nobody can see him. This is literally a tree. There we go to ambush starts. Okay, this army's still recruiting. These guys seem happy to just wear us down. I'm sure these guys are not going to last much longer, but hey, they're taking so long to take one settlement. It's, uh,. Not really going to pose much of a problem for us. Okay, what do we want next? Income from ports. We don't have any ports. Come from hunting buildings. It's not bad. But we want this though because forest health is just going to like. Magical forest, the heathlands are where we fight most of our battles, so getting extra forest health is going to add up over time. Okay. Don't worry, it'll take us a little bit, but once we've got this army to, like, capable strength, we can have Dirthu hold off Bretonia and then send this army, say, after the dwarves, or resolve the forest encounters that way.
We chill. It's all good so far. Let me guess. They want a trade agreement. Wow. Okay, so the Fey Enchantress is actually like on really good terms with like Orion. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, if it means they don't attack us, they're not allied with any of the other Bretonians that we're at war with. So, you know, that's fine. It's law friendly. So I believe in the law that the Bretonians and... Oh, hello. It's fine. The Bretonians and the Wood Elves are actually, like, on okay terms. I'm sure there's been conflict in the past, but, like... Yeah, they're not, like, at each other's throats, I don't believe. Okay, this army's just left itself exposed for us. Surely they don't get a garrison. Oh, my God. I hate how the AI gets like, gets a garrison immediately. Like, it's not a full health still, but, like... Okay, once again, we're not going to lose any units. I'm going to take this, because siege battles are the worst. Occupy this. We'll take that back, thank you. Hey, that's my favorite music track. Yeah, that flute track is like just my favorite one. Okay, there's another army of theirs over here. We would have to push quite far out to be able to get be able to go there but we are here now man what's going on over here it's just a mass of heroes half an army with a with a mediocre garrison okay we could sit here for two turns but i don't want to trapped out here in case somebody attacks us Okay, let's keep recruiting. Let's just take four more turns. Okay, we did get some money from that, which is nice. Um, let's keep doing that. What do we have over here? Ooh. Okay, hang on, if it's, if it's a choice between... Let's do this. The woods Cancel that. We'll see how much money we take for recruiting and then we'll spend the rest. Ah, oh, this is level 3. Okay, Hawk Riders would be good. Let's see a couple more. We'll do one more deep with Scout. What we really need is some just straight up infantry. Need those Treekin. I guess I'm content to wait. It's going to be four turns until we can get them. Otherwise, we could go down here and get Eternal Guard. Might do that, actually. Let's do one more turn. Let's get two of those. I'm gonna Dryad. And then we'll get some Eternal Guard to be like line holders. And see what we wanna do from there. Okay, these characters have leveled up. Uh, let's keep doing Bolts of the Forest. Yeah. Plenty of spells, or replenishment, also always good. Let's keep doing that. Let's build the growth back up. 
Okay. So look, these guys are still sieging me. Which is fine. Wonder if we can get Orion to join our war. What? Speak, traitor. But we're friends. Trade agreement? Do we not have one already? Yes, I will. Thank you. How do you feel about joining war against the dwarves, huh? Doesn't like that. What about if I join your war? against Beastmen. Oh, he likes that a lot. Just a sign that maybe I shouldn't do it. Maybe the Beastmen are too strong for us to take on right now. Just, we don't want to spread ourselves too thin. So that's fine. We'll leave it be. Okay, so we've recruited. So now let's spend the rest of our money on buildings. Okay, that's a bit too expensive for us right now. Okay. Dothu's moved. This army's slowly coming together. Oh, we're under 200 factions. Don't know if that happened last turn. I didn't notice that last turn, but yeah, we're definitely in the 100s now. Oh, that number actually went up. I guess some new faction spawned. Trade agreement with the Empire. I don't... I don't know if I want to commit to that right now. Uh, hmm. I guess there's little harm in doing it because they're a pretty minor faction. They'll probably get swallowed up by somebody. We call France. Uh, by the time I actually like care about that area. Okay, so taking Grimhold back. I weave the living forest. All right, let's go over to this region Moving. and get some Eternal yeah, Guard with shields would be really good. Can I build that forge? Ooh, I could build. I could get a spell singer. Let's do this. Yeah. But again, that's going to be five turns before we can actually get. Oh, it doesn't mean it's not worth it. Let's do it. Let's get some Eternal Guard. They can be just our basic line holders. Might get some War Dancers to back them up as well. Is there anything we want to build here? No, no logging camp. Alright, where do we want to go with Durthu? Because I'm, I'm a little bit wary about these guys now, because this is still a full stack of dwarves. That they could try and start marching this way now. Which... Oh, they've actually been forced out of their home. By the Empire. Okay. 
Well, that kind of explains things. How many settlements they got? Come then, messenger. Two settlements. There's one over here somewhere. Okay. So if we can kick them out, then hopefully their other enemies should keep them busy. We can defeat this army. Look, I really just have no interest in fighting these Bretonians. Let me see if they want a peace treaty, because I just really don't care. I've got other things I want to focus on. Lord of Bretonians. Only the Grail companions of old could hope to best me. Yet yeah, okay. Give me some money, you can have peace. Just so. Armored in place. What vile filth stand if needs must. Okay, nice. So I really don't really care about um, Yeah, I really don't care about um, find those Bretonians. It doesn't like like a dozen anyway. So let's go with. Two, three, four. Five. That's eight archers. It's probably too many. Like this. Okay, what does that army look like now? I really don't know why it puts dryads. Like, doesn't put dryads with the other tree spirits? It's weird. Three cav. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's still nine archers. We don't want that many. Hmm. That's... Oh, I can't do it again now. Out of moving range, that's annoying. Uh, but I am in this region so I can recruit something if I want. I want to ditch these. What about these regiments? Okay, we can get these ones. Yeah, okay. So what I'll do is I'll ditch these two Glade Guard. And then we'll get all three of these regiments of renown to be in Dothu's army. And that'll be good. Alright, so next time we'll do that, then we'll swap those Glade Guard over to this army. And it's going to be like a, a hold the fort kind of army. And look after the homeland while Dothu goes abroad. Let's keep upgrading buildings with our spare income. Okay, we're going to get a Surplus point in a second. Alright, we're slowly getting there. Okay, Norska. Skaven. And Greenskins. Okay, let's go. We'll, we'll go do these forest encounters first and then go kill the dwarves. Okay. Okay, glad to see diplomacy is improving. Alright, so... Okay, we can't see this region now. But... these over there. Yep. There. Alright, full stack. Okay, 
Can we get over the mountains? We can, but I don't know if we want to be all the way over there. So let's not bother. Let me see if I can get a... Really doesn't want that, okay. What about a non-aggression pact? I shall comply. Cool. You called? Cool. When did we get visibility over that? It's interesting. We will see our homeland persist. Let's get a trade agreement going. Of the world. Orders received. Good stuff. But it's tempting because I don't know whether to go, whether to travel down here to check out this new stuff or travel up here. Because if you go to Laurelorn, right, that gives you access to Norska. So it's easier to, to get that confederation. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So what we're going to do first is get this forest encounter. Okay, now we're going to attack the dwarves. Hmm. That's a lot of artillery. We don't lose any units, so... Just want to resolve it, that's fine. Uh, we'll take the replenishment. Yeah, or will we? Yes. Ooh. Okay, let's get those. Yes, please. Let's uh, get rid of one of these. Let's merge these. Nice. More way watches is always good. Let's march over this way. Yeah, they're still just sitting there. Unsurprising. And this army. A couple of eagles. Okay, things are looking good. Let's see, okay, let's max out Bolts of the Forest. Oh, got a few skill points racked up. I'm gonna go with these ones. Because I know for sure that I always have Treekin and Treemen in my army. Whereas I won't always have Dryads and Eternal Guard. Yeah, let's go with that for now. What about our Branch Wraith? Yeah, let's keep Replenishment up. Okay. I think we've done everything we can. And that is probably a good place to stop the episode. So we've um, mitigated the Bretonian threat. Uh, we dealt with Grom as well at the start. We mitigated the Bretonian threat after they declared war on us. Managed to successfully negotiate some peace. Um, and now the dwarves are back for... Well, not revenge, because it wasn't them we killed, but... You know, I'm sure it's a grudge in any way. So next episode we'll go and uh, get rid of these guys. And then who knows? Possibly we'll... Possibly we'll actually use the world roots or deep roots to go to another forest. Alright, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.